Pretty Privilege is just a marketing ploy. It's a cover up for some of the isms that still exist in our society. And Pretty Privilege is a mask people put on to get exactly what they want. Have you ever felt like you're pretty, but you don't get the privilege that comes with being pretty? And what exactly is TikTok pretty versus real life pretty? Uh, uh, hola. Hello friends and welcome back. If you're just in this hot chocolate for the first time, this is Tinola and right here I share valuable content. So if you like the vibe, please subscribe down below. I've been seeing videos of pretty privilege flying around and in as much as I'm so freaking tired of this and just want to say F it. I do understand that some women, especially black women that are deemed to be on the low bottom of the spectrum are genuinely concerned and might want the pretty privilege. First off, have you ever felt like you are pretty but don't get, you know, the pretty privileges like, you know, free meals, free drinks, you know, lots of compliments, even when you're not doing too much, you just attracts people to you people want to be your friend people want to talk to you you get certain jobs or positions or opportunities that you don't necessarily qualify for but because you look the parts you just look good you get it easily i definitely feel that way i feel like i'm pretty i know that i'm pretty but i just don't feel like i get the pretty privilege and as a black woman as an african woman i understand that pretty or beauty standard varies from culture to culture though there are a lot of similarities for example in the african culture you know what is deemed pretty is a very thick woman with very big bum very big boobs white apes very clear light skin and straight bone hair wig compared to the western world where it will be more of a slim or maybe slim thick lady and you know definitely pale skin straight hair very sharp facial features small nose you know you get the picture also in the asian culture is slightly different but amongst all these cultures you can tell that there are some features that are highly preferred which are like a very light skin or pale skin tone and so on and so forth that being said it puts the average looking girl especially the average black looking girl in the not so pretty spectrum so the truth is most of us generally are average looking across all the race and especially in the black race to look like a bad bitch 24 7 is completely unreal except if you have a full glam team around you let's say you're a celebrity and you just have access to such but that obviously is not the reality for a lot of us now the current topic that's been trending is about tiktok pretty versus real life pretty and as you know tiktok is a very big platform with many trends and of course there's a lot of market employ around the beauty industry targeting women's insecurity as you know capitalism rules the world it's okay you can't fight it just play by the game but with the tiktok filters you know targeting like the skin tone targeting the features your facial features long lashes all of that we've created this image of ourselves especially the younger generation that are growing up with tiktok are used to a particular look or i don't think i could get my eyelashes this long the previous uh filter with just makeup that's how long my eyelashes are with makeup on not like this my nose is contoured the hell out of it even changed my face shape a little bit like it not like crazy but it definitely did like so if you're not looking like that on TikTok, you're not really on the TikTok level of pretty. Which is why I say pretty privilege is also a cover up for some of these isms that still exist in our society. Because let's be honest, texturism is playing into the picture. Colorism is playing into the picture. Racism is playing into the picture. As you know, straight looking hair is more preferred to very thick coily dense kinky hair which will be categorized on the bottom of the spectrum with colorism pale skin tone is definitely top on the chat and dark deep black skin tone is in the bottom so the question is is it really about pretty privilege as a thing or pretty privilege is just another word to cover up what already exists in our society in the beauty standards and how these isms are not really helping black women to be represented in the best light so in response to my last video when you're not tiktok pretty and y'all know exactly the type of pretty that i'm talking about you will deal with the kind of stuff that i'll be dealing with on social media i made a video talking about this a year ago about not being the standard of beauty and people gaslit the hell out of me look oh but you're so pretty I know that. 
I'm talking about a very specific type of pretty that comes with a very specific type of privilege that I do not have. It does not mean I'm objectively unattractive. Hello, I own a freaking mirror. I own a couple actually, and I got no problem stopping and looking. What I'm saying is when you are dark skin and you have a particular set of features, it is so much easier to attract a very specific type of hate comments about how you look. And it's so annoying. Just a friendly reminder, just because you're not TikTok pretty, it does not mean, cannot be great. It doesn't mean you're not pretty. That's all I wanted to say. I saw this video of Jackie Aino and I get it. I really get it. Even though to me, Jackie Aino as a black girl still looks TikTok pretty, at least to some extent. But what she's saying is very valid. Like I get what she's saying in the sense that she's still not fitting into the exact beauty standard. And in as much as she's Jackie Aino, she's built her brand up until this point, she still isn't the typical beauty standard. And it's okay, even though you're a celebrity, even though you're a big influencer and creator, it's okay for you to still voice out, you know, some of the challenges you still face. Because if you know anything about Jackie Aino's brand, she is all about representation she's all about you know you know just promoting and talking about beauty from a black woman's point of view but the question i want to put to you guys is do you really think pretty privilege matters because for someone like jackie i know even if she's not tiktok pretty because that is what is raining right now tiktok pretty even if she's not tiktok pretty she still became jackie i know she still is jackie i know she didn't need to be tiktok pretty to become jackie i know she didn't need to be tiktok pretty to gain all this brand recognition to work with all these brands she's worked with and to also have you know the kind of life she currently has did she work hard for it absolutely but she has always stayed true to herself to her features and she has always represented the black community and black women in the beauty industry she has always represented us very well regardless of wherever she was coming from her challenges and how hard it was even at that time when she started this was way back in like 2010 2008 can't remember but what i'm trying to say here is i I don't buy into this fixation this obsession around pretty privilege when we all know that you can still get your dream life you can still get what you want in life without necessarily fitting into the pretty privilege like she didn't get here because of the pretty privilege yes she has some to me she's pretty so yes she does have some pretty privilege even though she doesn't have the tiktok pretty according to her if you say so miss jackie we hear you but it's still the fact that we have so many women out there even ugly women quote unquote ugly women that are still getting exactly what they want they are still getting married they are still becoming ceos they are still getting the bag they are living their life regardless of if anyone thinks they are pretty or not that is why i really question if pretty privilege matters that much to have pretty privilege means you get what you want regardless of if you qualify for it or not but because you just look pretty but for anyone watching this and wants to be deemed as pretty you need to start defining your own standard of beauty because at the end of the day beauty will always be in the eye of the beholder beauty is not just one thing it's not just your physical look there's a lot of ways in which you can gain pretty privilege because at the end of the day pretty privilege is all about being more attractive attracting the kind of life you want and to do that you don't have to fit into the beauty standards these standards were created for us they were not created by us do you get that and it's gonna be really hard if your genetics is not in favor of those standards you're gonna have to change your entire look which i wouldn't subject anyone to but what you can do instead is to start investing in yourself physically mentally academically hit the gym the more you work out and have an exercise routine the more confident you will feel you won't only look good physically but you will become more confident and a confident woman is a highly attractive woman do some sugar detox improve your diet once you start investing in self-care healthy relationship and boundaries your value goes up you become more charismatic and a charismatic woman i bet can walk into any room that confidence will take you into any room it will give you the opportunities that pretty privilege cannot even give you and remember like looking pretty is one thing it can get you the attention it can get you into certain rooms as well but keeping that status comes with having 
a particular character like your character is what's gonna keep you in the opportunities is what's gonna keep you in those rooms yes there are things that you can do to look more attractive aside building your character and investing in self-care there are other tips here and there that you know can help you highlight your features more because the thing is every one of us have unfair advantages every one of us have you know um that feature in us that is just unique and beautiful and there's a way that you can actually highlight it i'd like to share more tips on how to you know really tap into looking more attractive as a black woman we'll talk about that in another video and i also want to talk about the disadvantages of pretty privilege because as you know pretty can suck that being said i like to keep this video short and sweet thank you so much for watching and let me know your thoughts on this topic i'll see you guys in the next one but until then keep shining bye